Hey everyone, it's Flora. Welcome back to my channel. Oh gosh, I am still recovering from episode 9. That was a lot, and I'll be honest, this one's gonna be hard too, so get ready. Ugh. Last week's episode was so monumental to the series. Kyo realized his feelings for Toru, and we know about his confinement after he graduates, so that's a huge plot point that is now on the table and the fact that he knew Kyoko in the past is another big reveal. I can't believe this episode! Ugh. I saw the preview images and I'm nervous but I'm excited but I'm nervous. It's gonna be a really good one. It's on chapter 64 and 65. This is the last episode of the beach arc. We're already here and it's gonna be crazy. I anticipated this beach arc for so long and uh, it's been amazing. Like, I love it so much, but I'm very excited to see the rest of season two after this. After I finish reacting to the episode, I'll stick around for a few minutes and talk about what I thought, so you're welcome to stick around until then. All right, let's get started. It's so nice to see them all together. I feel like it's been a while because of everything going on. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, whoa, this went by so fast! <sighs> so much happened. Aww. Yes, after everything that freaking Akito caused. Ugh. This music is like. Aww, she's so cute! This music is really pretty, too. Aww, I love that. <laughs> so cute. Aww, that's such a cute face. I love that! Ugh! It's, it's nice to see some happy moments because I feel like last episode was just brutal. And yeah, we had happy moments, but it was kind of bittersweet, you know? And this is just sweet. For now. It's so cool seeing everything connect now that we've seen the episodes that are in the opening. Like the Yuki part, the Kyo part, Akito. And ugh, I love this opening so much. Seriously though, the beach arc is one of my favorite parts of the entire series. And... It's been it's been incredible. I'm so happy. Here we go. <gasps> Mugeta. Oh. Look at that big couch. Oh, this music's really pretty too. Mm-hmm. <laughs> でも良いことで。あっと <laughs> I love Mumiji so much. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I love that. I love that moment. <laughs> oh. That's such an important moment because we get to see how Toru kind of composes herself before putting on her happy face. And, you know, letting Momiji just be able to say how he feels and... Oh, I love it. <laughs> Everyone was like, oh, what a weird anime, and yet they're all watching it together. I love it. I wonder why. Episode 5. Yeah, because he freaking sits in the dark and types away for you for who knows what reason. 
please. I'm sorry, but the last episode, you were very awful, and I have no sympathy for you right now. Ooh, that face. Ooh. This is intense. Ah! Name drop. Well, again, he did, he mentioned it once before, but this is the second time. Oh dear. Oh, Shigre, what are you up to? Mm. Oh dear. That's not good. Uh oh. Oh. He's so excited for tomorrow. I love him. <sighs> My heart hurts already. My heart is pounding right now. I swear, Akito in the anime is way more intimidating. Like, just this, the voice and the sounds and the, the everything. And unsettling. Mumiji is the purest. <sighs> This music, oh my god! リカイ。リカイ。リカイ。リカイ。リカイ。リカイ。リカイ。リカイ。リカイ。リカイ。リカイ。リカイ。リカイ。リカイ。リカイ。リカイ。リカイ。リカイ。リカイ。リカイ。
Me caso, me caso. This part. I have chills right now. Ugh. Ugh. Kreno is so tall. <laughs> uh, I can't believe Akito touched her. Mm. Oh, she's got a scratch on her face. Oh, you're so terrible. So it explains why Akito has a superiority complex and wants everyone to focus on them all the time. Oh gosh. Wow, yeah, that's a lot to take in. <sighs> yes, that's why they can't disobey. Oh, it's so frustrating. あ、<笑> So what happened? Oh, how is trying to hold Kyo back? Oh. I think that's supposed to be Kyo thinks he's pathetic sometimes too. It's he, not she. <sighs> well, at least Akito's gone now, except frickin'. <laughs> oh, this is so important! She's gonna protect them with all of her power. Toru's too pure! <laughs> oh. I feel like Momiji and Toru are pretty similar, where they always put on a smile, but internally, there's a lot going on. Mm. <laughs> the guys are like, nah, you guys are lying. <laughs> Aww. This is such a pretty background. Look at the freaking sunset. I don't know what that was. Aww. So sweet. 
花火したことぐらい母親とはいはい決まった後でうんそうすいそれってどういうやつわかんない人や建物に向かって飛ばしたものを<笑>向いてる向いてる大丈夫今日ならきっと避けられる俺信じてるよ信じんな<laughs> oh, there's Rin! She's just like keeping an eye on them, I guess. Oh, this is such a pretty shot. I love this. Toro's gonna do anything she can. Because of Toru. <laughs> She's brought them all together. <laughs> this is so wholesome. So cute. Oh. <laughs> oh, look at them. They're so bright. Oh, that's such pretty. <laughs> oh, that was a really wholesome ending. I. Uh, that was a lot. I'm glad that they all were able to just enjoy the evening together with their last day. <sighs> Alright, I'm excited to see what the next episode will be. I'm not sure if they're going to stay in order with the manga or if they're going to switch things around a bit, so we'll see. <sighs> what an episode. Alright, here we go. Okay. Okay. Oh, look at the little Kareno! <sighs> this episode was another kind of heavy one. Uh, a lot was revealed. A lot happened. Um, I wasn't as emotional as the previous one, but it's still a lot to take in. And I can't say this enough, but the beach arc is so important and monumental to the rest of the series. Now they've revealed Kyo's feelings. Yuki's going through some stuff. Now we know that Akito is God. We know about the curse. Kyo's confinement. Toru wants to break the curse. It's just all this stuff is like relevant now and it's gonna be impactful for the rest of the series. So it's very, very exciting. I feel like the beach arc was a big accelerator for moving the plot forward and the series will not be the same after this. Like once they go back to the home and their school and everything, I feel like there's gonna be a different atmosphere. I'm sure it'll still be fun and it'll be cute and wholesome, but there's definitely a, a darker feel because of knowing that Kyo will be confined and with Akito being God and everyone being bound to the curse. Uh, and Akito even said to Toru, if you involve yourself more, you will be punished. So it's kind of scary going forward, like not knowing what's going to happen with Toru if she puts herself in danger and uh the part with Momiji still breaks my heart to this day. Even though it's a very sad moment, I love it. I love that moment because it shows how Akito is willing to just break down even the most innocent and wholesome of people. And the hug that Toru and Momiji share, I feel, is very important because she is 
like a light to everyone of the Zodiac. She loves all of them so much that she is willing to risk herself in order to break the curse. It's interesting though because now Toru knows about Kyo being confined, but Kyo doesn't know that she knows. Ugh, it's just... Ugh. Drama, but it's so good. I like the throwback to a few episodes ago when Toru was scared to talk about things with her mom because she was afraid of hurting everyone, but then Kyo brings it up during the fireworks and he's like, oh, you did it with your mom too, and I think it was a nice little like throwback to that time. I feel like Yuki is very open about his feelings now, which is really nice. Like He's not afraid to tell her, you know, these are really precious memories that I can have with you, and Oh, I just, I'm so happy with that ending. It was so wholesome and so nice. Now Karina's confirmed as the bird, so no more questioning who's what. We all, everybody's known now. Everybody's here. And now we know why Akito is the head of the family. Ugh. I just love this arc so much. It's such a good part of the series, and I am very excited for the rest of the season and season three, but this little vacation was a special time, and it's just not going to be the same after that, you know? I'm very excited for episode 11. It's going to be... <sighs> Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my reaction. I will be back in a few days with my manga comparison and review of this episode, and then I will be back next Monday with my episode 11 reaction. Make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video, and thank you all so much for your support so far. I really appreciate it. If you want to follow me on any of my social media, I have them in the description below, and I also stream on Twitch if you want to check me out on there. I also have a Discord channel now, and that's also in the description if you're interested in joining. I have a Fruits Basket channel where it's just anime and then also with manga spoilers, so I'd love to chat with all of you there. Feel free to comment below what you think of the episode. I would love to talk to you all. Thank you all so much for your support so far, and I will see you next time. Have a good one. Bye!